Alright guys, so in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the chains off of Allie and Cody's go-kart and I'm going to be putting in some old motor oil into this can. I'm going to be sticking it over on our grill. What I'm going to, what that's going to do is it the, the oil heats up almost not really to a boil but hot enough. I'm going to then put the chain inside. What that's going to do is it's going to heat the chain up. It's going to expand the metal in the chain and then the oil is going to penetrate the surfaces. When the chain heats up, you know, the steel, the pores in the steel will allow the oil to run into it. So you literally oil the entire chain and it stays oiled for a really, really long time. The last time I did this was when we first moved into this place, even before the shop was built. I took off Allie's uh, chain off her go-kart and did the same thing. Stuck some oil in, got it almost to a boil um, to the point where there's a little bit of bubbles, not a lot. I put the chain in there, left it in there for about half hour, and then took it out, let it cool off, and then put it back on there. And it hasn't needed to be oiled ever since until, well, this summer. We've driven it around a little bit. Well, pretty much what that means is that the chain hasn't needed to be oiled for almost a year and a half to almost two years. I mean, I could have oiled it earlier on this summer, but all I did is take some WD-40 and spray it on the chain and that's all I really did with it. But this time I'm going to actually take the chain off, bend the chain, get as much of the rust off of it as I can, and then stick it in here and then heat it all up. So, let me grab some oil. Old coffee cans. God, these things come in so handy. Okay, you can see I've got the oil in there. And I got it filled up maybe to about right to that point right there. Not very much of it. Got the old grill all started up here. <laughs> now we're gonna take this. And I'm just gonna put it right there. What you doing, Ashley? Huh? Huh, kitty kitty? I'm gonna get you. All right, well, I've got the two chains cooking now that go from the clutches to the jack shafts. This is the first chain that I took off of uh, Allie's cart that goes from the jack shaft to the axle. You can see how rusted those things are. And I'm so glad I decided to use Master Links on these things. Uh, the only chain breaker that I've got is one of these things. And it works pretty decently, but when it comes to quick changing and stuff like that, I hate using this. I'm definitely one of those people who's going to use Master Links on almost everything. Unless I'm running something that's going to have a lot of power to it. But, yep. Now those are back there back there cooking. Now I gotta take the one off of Cody's cart. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe I should do a video on this type of thing. Now a lot of people don't do it this way. They won't use motor oil and boil their chain, but I have found that it works pretty decently. And I thought I'd do this video uh, right before winter because those of you who haven't done this to your chains or lubricated your chains ready for winter, might want to do it because after the counties and the cities start laying down all that crap on the roads and you start getting it all caked up on your engine and your and your chains and stuff that'd be a good idea to do this before that happens and uh, I was actually led on to this method uh, from some of the guys on DIY go-karts they were telling me about how this how this whole method works and uh, you know I tried it out and it worked great I mean I after doing Allie's cart that first time hell the stain the, the chain stayed oiled for almost a year and a half so I didn't have to oil it didn't have to do anything to it oh come on now I remember checking it that next summer after I had done it you know, and her, her go-kart sat out in the elements all winter long, everything. Never needed to be oiled that next summer after that. 
just fine. So, I'm going to do it to that one, to the go-karts again. This will be the first time that Cody's go-karts chains are getting it. But, and I wish I had an extension for this one. It's about this, is that since I don't have a master link in this chain, I'm going to have to disconnect the axle and then loop it up around the tire. And that's one reason why I don't, why I prefer to use master links. And based upon the amount of time, if I use that chain breaker, shit, it'll take me longer to use that than to do what I'm about to do. Okay, well, I finally got those off. So now we're going to come up here. I'm going to check out and see what this is doing. Is it boiling? No, not quite, but I can't tell. That shit's really hot because there's steam coming off of, off of it. So, yeah. Now all I need to do is uh, get a wire and fish it out, let them drip for a while, and then it's time to put in the other ones. And the guys told me on DIY go-karts that you use old oil, um, and I can't remember why. I can't remember why they said you want to use old oil instead of new oil. But maybe you guys can jump over there and ask them. <laughs> Somebody gave me the reasoning why you want to use it, but I can't remember why now. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now that's what I call a good chain. <laughs> Get her hot enough to the point where there's steam coming off of it. Yep. <laughs> All right, I've got them sitting over here, hanging on the fence, dripping into the weeds, because we don't care about those weeds. <laughs> and we're going to let them sit out here and cool off a little bit. Uh, that's still hot. Uh, that one's all right. And that one's all right. Yeah, this is one of those jobs you will get oily. <laughs> okay, guys. I left the chains hanging up on the fence, and I'm just going to let them hang up there tonight, and then tomorrow I'm going to put them on, back on the go-karts. Uh, it's kind of uneventful, so I probably won't be recording that, but boiling your chain in oil works pretty well. Like I said, you know, I, I, I did it once, and I didn't have to do anything with the chain for almost a year and a half, so I didn't have to lubricate it or anything like that. So I thought I'd throw this video out and let you, let you guys know that it's probably a good idea to do something like this to your chain on your machine. Now when I shut this video down, I'm going to start working on my next one. And the next one's going to be pretty big, so make sure you guys tune into this next one. It's coming up probably, I'm, I'm going to try to get it uploaded on the 2nd, which is like what, tomorrow or the next day for you guys. And it's going to be important, it's going to be big. So <laughs> I'm going to show some pretty cool stuff that I've been doing around here. So hopefully I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.